to the Capitol where lawmakers are pushing a measure that would protect a parent's right to refuse Common Core testing for their children. It's called the Common Core Parental Refusal Act, and it would ensure that students, teachers, and schools aren't penalized and aren't rewarded either for taking those exams. Our Capitol correspondent Kimberly Howard is live at the Legislative Office Building. And Kimberly, right now I know parents already can refuse Common Core for their kids. How is this legislation different? What would it allow them to do? Well, Liz, this measure is looking to push school districts to inform parents that they won't and cannot be punished for students not taking the test. Basically, the bill will look to ensure the state aid cannot be refused to a school based on the number of test takers. Supporters of the measure say even though that is the case legally, districts are still, still fearful that that will happen. The bill would also make sure teachers aren't evaluated based on student performance on the test. Now, right now, Common Core is a means of determining teacher performance, and the governor is pushing that Common Core play a larger role in teacher evaluations this session. To be clear, this group isn't calling for the end of standardized testing. They say they just want to scale back on what they consider a one-size-fits-all approach. They say parents opted out roughly 60,000 students from Common Core last year, and they'd like to see that number grow to 250,000 students. They say that would effectively devalue Common Core as a source of education data in the state. Now, this bill has bipartisan support from both chambers as well as some support from some local teachers, parents, and education advocates coming up and later newscast. We'll take a look at how this legislation could impact the number of students who are actually studying to become teachers that will be coming up later on this evening. We're live at the Legislative Office Building. Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.